Hello, Claire here, bringing you the news relating to Lego Mini Dolls and Harry Potter and Dots and Super Mario. Um, there's loads to cover, so I'll um, try to be snappy. Bricomotion news. I have the German 2020 June December Lego catalog with me, and the most exciting things in here for me are the Lego Friends Summer Cubes and new Dots bracelets. Most of the cubes appear to have a sun with sunglasses sticker, which I find hilarious. Then there's Olivia's and Mia's torso pieces that are not widely available, so this would be a nice cheap-ish way to get them. Oh, and as always, the cubes include a surprise animal. I'm not a fan of how they don't show you which animal comes with which cube, but that's a part of a bigger discussion I have on LEGO sharing set information uh, with us. Anyways, the water-themed animals come in a weird colors and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Yeah, I'll have to see them in person. In September, I guess. From what I gather, these it'll be available signs are more like guidelines than real deadlines as to when the set will be in stores. The Dots line is getting three new sets with two thin bracelets in each. I absolutely need the mermaid one. I don't even know why, but I need it. They're supposed to come out in August, which is now, and there's still no word on them even existing online. See? Guidelines. These catalogs are becoming less and less useful as LEGO puts less and less sets in them. For example, they have the Series 20 here, but not the Harry Potter one. You're supposed to be surprised! Ooh. Nor is there any mention of the four advent calendars they are making. Where's the Harry Potter one, hmm? Not here! For all of that info, I have to go to an independent website, Promobricks. Harry Potter collectible minifigure series is coming out in September. If for nothing else, these are great to look at because of their hair pieces and accessories. I personally need all of the hairs, Fox, and the Monstrous Book of Monsters. Like, I need them. Promobricks has also released great pictures of each figure and their accessories, so if you're interested, check it out. All of the links are in the description. While you're there, you can also take a look at the Harry Potter and the Friends advent calendars. I won't show them here to avoid spoilers, but I'll just say that I think these are the best Harry Potter and Friends advent calendars that we got to this date. Also on Promobricks, because why would it be in the official LEGO catalog? New Disney Princess sets, probably available from September. Highlights are Rapunzel's new skirt and Eugene from the Tangled set, and a new Aurora skirt and Maleficent doll from the Sleeping Beauty set. Back to LEGO Dots. I've found, or rather the YouTube algorithm has found for me, a great video on the L of L channel. What does a dots bracelet look like after you've worn it for a month at work? I didn't know, but now I do because I watched the video. Whew, so many things to cover. Serves me right for not doing this sooner. New Elementary searched for uses of the previously mentioned dots bracelet in LEGO builds. Cole provided them with three excellent sea creatures. My favorite is the shark, who manages to be horrifying and very cartoony at the same time. Amazing. The LEGO Super Mario sets should be available everywhere now. I'm confident my kids would have died had we not bought the base set. So good thing we have. Lego Mario time. 
The set's a lot of fun and they already started building their own levels with our spare pieces. And I think there's no way we won't get at least a few more monster blind bags. Just to vary the custom levels a bit. Speaking of variety, have you noticed something about these sets? Hmm? As much as I love all the monsters included, I am intensely, deeply, irreparably, severely disappointed that there is no Princess Peach. Or Daisy. Or Rosalina. Presumably it was too hard for LEGO to create any of them. In case you are as devastated by this development as I am, here's how you can quickly create your own Princess Peach. Take the Ariel in a pink dress. Take off her hair. Put on a long blonde hairpiece. Basically anyone will do, although I do recommend this one. Don't have an Ariel? No problem. Just take any other pink mini doll dress, give it blue eyes, maybe from Stephanie, and a long blonde hairpiece. Oh, and don't forget the crown. There, so many peaches. Lego, are you taking notes? This wasn't that difficult. For total perfection, add a dark pink puffy paper overskirt. You can make one yourself from scratch or do what I did and use my patterns for it. Yes, I have created downloadable dress patterns for mini dolls and they are available for purchase on Bricomotion.com. With them, you can customize your mini dolls quickly and without painting them. Like so. Back to Mario. With Peach by his side, he can finally enjoy some intelligent company. A new issue of the Disney Princess magazine is out. In Germany. It comes with a little build and Lucifer, which is nice. But even nicer is what's going to be in the next one. The bell that's only available in this big-ish set. So I'm looking forward to that. Both the building of the set and the magazine with the mini doll. I'm always excited about new cheapish ways to get rare mini dolls. Links to everything are in the description of this video. If something piqued your interest, go and take a look. Do you know something you would like me to cover in the next episode of Mini Doll News? Leave it in the comments below and I'll check it out. Until the next time you click on one of my videos. Bye bye.